Hello everyone, it's Shelltech and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to take a look at this new microphone. So this is the Rokat Torch Studio Grade USB microphone. It's got three selectable pickup patterns, mixer style controls, and three distinct RGB lighting zones. But do you really need a studio microphone like this? And what are the advantages of this mic? So I'll do a quick unboxing, set it up, do a mic test, connect it to a boom arm, and I'll show you what new features this microphone comes with, and whether it's worth it for you to pick one of these up. And this is it. This is the Rokat Torch Studio Grade USB microphone. This microphone will work with USB-A fitted devices, and I will be using my Windows computer to try it out. So let's get this opened up and see what comes with it. So inside the black Rokat torch box, protected by some recycled material, is a little manual slash quick start guide, a long USB-C to USB-C cable, looks like a very short USB-C to USB-C cable, and a long USB-A to USB-C cable also. So you get a lot of cables with this microphone. Then we have the Rokat torch itself which looks really nice with its mixing board base and a professional look. The size is rather minimal as mics go. So taking a closer look at the torch itself, some of the features are its 24-bit audio with its up to 48 kilohertz sampling, which should give you a crisp clear audio at all voice levels. The mic sits firmly and securely on its anti-vibration base that will lessen the transfer of noise from your desk or table. Now checking out that base, which has three mixer style controls on it, it gives you the control over gain, with a slider, a master volume knob that doubles as a mute button, and the polar pattern knob, which gives you control of all three modes, the whisper, cardioid, stereo, and power on off. On the back of the mic is where the connections and some controls are located. There is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so you can monitor and adjust your voice in real time, a USB-C to PC port to connect the mic to a computer or compatible device, a USB-C to mic port, this is used to connect the torch microphone itself to the mixer stand. Then there is the contactless quick mute distance adjuster, which allows you to change the distance or turn off the mute sensor on top of the mic. And finally, the LED brightness button, which turns off all LEDs or adjusts the brightness from 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Now to set up the Rokat torch for desktop use, all you're gonna do is connect a couple of the USB cables that were included in the box. The long USB-C to USB-C cable is used when using a boom arm, so let's put that aside for now, and I'll show you how to connect that later in this video. To set up this mic, you must connect the torch mic to the mixer stand. You do that with the short USB-C to USB-C cable. This cable connects to the USB-C to mic port on the base and the port on the torch mic itself. Then using the USB-C to USB-A cable connected to the USB-C to PC port, this cable can be connected to your PC. The Rokat torch is ready to go. Just plug it in, connect it to your favorite streaming or other software and turn on the power. The Rokat logo will glow different colors depending on the pickup patterns, orange when in standby, red when muted, and pulsing blue when sleeping. Now let's give an audio test of this microphone. Okay, so now you're listening to my voice on the Rokat Torch USB microphone. When in recording mode, the live will light up on the base of this mic. As I said before, there's three polar modes. There is this first mode that we're in right now, as indicated by the blue LED, is the whisper mode. This mode allows the mic to pick up your vo voice easier and clearer when not speaking so loud. This is a good mo mode for people who don't want to disturb people in their office or out in their home by speaking too loud. The next mode we have is called the cardio mode. This will be the most popular mode. This is perfect for gamers or streamers. And this is indicated by the green and yellow LED on this mic. I'll be using this mode for most of the rest of the video because this is the mode most people will be using this mic for. And the last mode we have is stereo mode indicated by the purple LED. This mode I'm not gonna be using too much, but stereo mode has a two channel system. It's perfect for people who are singers or into instruments or even some ASMR. I'm not gonna be using this too much, so I'll go back to cardio mode. Cardio mode is what I'm gonna be using for the rest of this video. To enable all these lighting modes and extra parts for this mic, you have to download the Brokat Neon software from its website. This software will allow you to activate the LEDs and also give you the latest drivers for this mic. On the base of this microphone, you have the gain. The gain, once you're going up and down, 
improves the sensitivity of the recording of your voice into the mic. As you can see by the LED indicators, going up and down with the gain will change them up, change the height of the indicators on your mic. In the middle, we have the volume, the master volume. And if you press that master volume button, you will also mute the mic. Speaking about mute, you also have a touchless mute button on the top where you just wave your hand over and it will mute or wave it back and it will unmute the mic. So you don't have to touch the mic itself to mess up any of your broadcasts or recordings. This torch has an integrated pop filter into it so you don't have to go spend extra money buying one or adding one to add to your setup. So it keeps this microphone very minimal but sounding very good. The mic also enjoys back and forth adjustability or you can go left or right because of the flexible bald head that this mic is sitting upon and an added feature is this bald head can be separated and added to a boom arm. Now connecting the torch to a standard boom arm, in this case the Toner T20 is easy but you may need an adapter. This 5 8 inch female to 3 8 inch male screw adapter isn't included with the torch but I was lucky to have one laying around. You also are going to need that long USB-C cable that came with the mic that I had put aside earlier. To connect to the boom arm, you must remove the short USB-C cable and unscrew the torch from its mixer base. I then connected the adapter to my shock mount on my boom arm and then connected the mic to the adapter. After that, I connected the long USB-C cable to the mic, threaded down the boom arm and plugged into the USB-C to mic port on the mixer base. This 1.8 meter USB-C cable has plenty of length that the base can be positioned comfortably on the desk away from the mic itself. Position and plug in and turn on the power and the Rokot torch is good to use. As I've used this mic over the last week, I found it to be a pretty good mic. The torch isn't gonna blow you away in terms of sound like a real studio mic, but at a price around $100, this mic does provide great sound, features, and looks at a value price. The sound to me is nice and clear and is the perfect mic for upgrading your gaming headset or as a beginner streamer. I love the rather minimal size, RGB features, as I'm really into RGB myself, and the fact that the pop filter is built into it as a space saving feature that is greatly appreciated. This is a mic that fits in well with the Rokot's line of products that really appeal to gamers and streamers who showcase their desk setups when on camera. But it also works well with everyday mic tasks so what about you guys? What do you think about this microphone? Is it something that you think can make a difference in your streaming or gaming? Well, that was a look at the Rokot Torch USB Studio Grade Microphone. I hope you liked it and thanks for staying all the way till the end. Any questions, drop them down in the comments. If you want to pick one of these up for yourself, I'll also leave a link down in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell for more Shell Tech videos. Also, don't forget to check out me on Instagram and my blog at shelltech.org. Thanks for watching. I don't know